What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I want to do a quick video showing you guys how to view a world map in the terminal. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I want to show you guys how to actually view a world map and you can actually move, navigate around uh, while looking at the world map. Uh, and it's pretty cool, man. It's an application that I found by reading an article I read uh, yesterday. And I thought it was cool. And I wanted to show you guys this actual application. So the first thing I want to do is go to their GitHub page. Uh, I already have the link copied. Uh, and it's made by a guy named Rasta Pasta. And the name of the application is Map SCII. And... So this is the GitHub page for it. Uh, I'll link it down in the description of the video. But it says Map SCI is a Braille and ASCII world map renderer for the console. And it works on Mac and Linux, as well as you can connect to it on PuTTY. So if you have a Linux system, you can connect to it from a Windows system on you know, using the PuTTY application or in that Windows subsystem. I haven't tried that yet, but you could possibly use it in the, the Linux subsystem on Windows 10. So here are the files and everything, the GitHub, uh, and then they have a little information. And then this is, you know, an example of what it looks like. Uh, it's Node.js based and Xterm compatible terminals is what you could use it in. So. If we scroll down, uh, this gives you the features down here. It says use your mouse to drag and zoom in and out. Uh, discover points of interest around any given location. Highly customizable layer style with map box style support. Uh, connect to any public and private vector tile server. And a couple other things right here. It says compatible with most Linux and OS X terminals. A uh, highly optimized algorithm for a smooth experience, 100% pure JavaScript. And then they go down and you, they show you how to install it. They actually have a snap package, so you can install it on Ubuntu easily by typing sudo snap install map SCII. But I'm going to install it on Orch. And let's go to the Orch user repository right fast. I want to show you the package there. So let's go AUR and then let's copy this package name because I think it's the name of it is a little bit different in Orch. So let me go to the web, go to there. Yeah, there we go. We found it. So that's the package. Uh, and I wanted to go down and show you guys how to install it in, in Orch Linux. So I'll be right back with the terminal up. So as you can see, I have a terminal up uh, and we want to go down and install map SCII and I already found a package name. Let me go down and copy it again. I don't remember if I copied the Orch pa package, but uh, let's go down and install it. But the command to do it is I have yay, which is an AUR helper uh, installed on my system. So I'm going to use that. But uh, most packages from the AUR, if you don't have an AUR helper, you have to compile them from source, you know, using make package and all that. Uh, but I'm going to use the AUR helper for this instance. So yay. Uh, and it's just like Pac-Man. So capital S. And then I can paste in the package name and press enter. And this will pull it down. Uh, it says package clean bill. I'm going to... I'm gonna clean build it because I think I I actually installed this on my system once before. But let's go down and go through that again. But let's see differences to show none. And here we go. It's gonna download the package, extract it out, compile it, and build it, and then install. And it'll ask for your password and we're good to go. Okay, so now that it's installed, let's go down and test it out right fast. So all we have to do is type map and I'm gonna tab it out. Just make sure I type it in right. Uh, S-E-I-I, -I, press enter. Now I'll actually open it up for us. And I'm not sure, okay, it looks pretty good in OBS in my recording software. So 
this is the actual application. And most of the commands that I found when I installed this previously before, uh, that the arrows are is what helps out in my opinion. Uh, so left left arrow, I'll move you to the left. Right arrow, I'll move you to the right. And uh, up arrow, you know, you can move up. And down arrow, you can move down. To see like an order to cut. Okay, and the way to zoom in on the application uh, is with the letter A. So you just press A and that'll zoom you in. I just wanna show you how cool this is, man. I, th I just thought it was cool, uh, but I'm gonna zoom in on the US. Uh, and sometimes the rendering kind of slows up, uh, but especially when it when it's starting to add the text into it, uh, it'll slow down a little bit uh, once you get to like a different section. Once you zoom in and it goes into a different section, then it'll it'll kind of take a while to render. But let's say I used to live in Texas. Let me uh zoom in and I stayed in Houston. So let me go down to Houston. And see it, it reaches a point. I don't know if you could tell, but I hit the you know the zoom in button a couple times and once it got to the point where it was gonna expand out and show you like more uh cities on the map then it kind of froze up for me so let me go down and zoom in a little more but we want to go i want to go into houston right fast and just show you the actual city you know because the map goes you know it goes kind of deep you can see you know it looks like highways and i know houston pretty well or maybe that's the uh counties that is breaking up I'm not sure. I got to read some of the documentation. Yeah, that's the counties, but. And I was thinking that's the road, I mean, but because I live in Houston and where it says Katy right here, that's I-10. And I-10 goes through the middle of Houston and heads towards Louisiana. I didn't took that road so many times uh, driving back to Louisiana to visit my family. But yeah, um. You know, through Port Arthur and all that stuff. But anyway, that's pretty cool. You know, the further you zoom in, I don't know if anybody's familiar with Houston, but you know, they got a bunch of different different uh cities around, like Pearland, Sugarland, Katy, uh South Houston right here, uh Humble, uh Spring, the Woodlands, and then Conroe is a little further up. But nah, everything is there, you know, Huntsville, you know, further south, I mean, further north. So that's pretty cool. And if you go in even further, like Bel Air, uh, West University Palace, Deer Park, Baytown. So, I mean, it kind of shows you how detailed you can get. I mean, it looks kind of distorted after a while uh, going into it, but no, this is pretty cool man so i really enjoyed this app oh and z is the the key that you use to you know kind of zoom out but anyway i thought this was a cool application so if you guys are interested in it you know go on and install it check it out for yourself you know it's cool to you know play with some of these new or play with some of these terminal applications it gets you used to using the the terminal uh, especially when you're first coming into linux uh, so just check this out for yourself man it's it's a quick install as you can see and it's just something to you know mess around with when you you're not doing anything else or you're not learning anything else uh, this is something you can play around with but um, if you have any questions leave them down in the comments below please like share subscribe to the channel and of course keep it techie